Hi, my name is Sean Good and I'm an attorney at The Good Law Group. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to get compensation for your hernia mesh injuries and complications. Unfortunately, injuries from hernia mesh surgeries are common. The FDA estimates that one third of people who receive hernia mesh implants as a result of their hernia surgeries have long-term pain and complications. In most cases where compensation is justified, repeat or revision surgeries is required. If a revision surgery is not possible due to the risk of injury to the patient, a doctor's note or letter is required to justify compensation in a hernia mesh injury case. I'm going to talk to you about the five most common complications. The first complication is chronic pain. The first thing to understand about that is it is common to have pain around the site of the incision for the first few days, even few weeks. If pain continues to persist longer than that, this may be a result of the defective hernia mesh and warrant a lawsuit. A second complication that occurs after a hernia mesh surgery is adhesions. Adhesions occur where scar tissue forms around the injury site. Specifically, an adhesion happens when the scar tissue forms around the mesh and joins it to the surrounding organ or tissue. It can not only be painful but lead to bowel obstruction or chronic pelvic pain. The third common complication is perforation. Perforation occurs where fibers in some of the hernia mesh products are pierced or broken apart and injure the surrounding organs or tissue which can lead to chronic pain, infection, or bowel obstruction. The fourth common complication from a hernia mesh surgery is migration. Mesh migration occurs where shrinkage or movement from the original location of the surgery happens. This can cause pain, bleeding, or other damage to the surrounding organs. The fifth complication of a hernia mesh surgery is rejection. Just like an organ transplant, your body can view the hernia mesh as a foreign object, which can sometimes cause it to reject the mesh. In these cases, physicians can prescribe medication to prevent the rejection. But if it happens, it can lead to infection or require the hernia mesh be revised or removed. If you're experiencing any of these injuries or have questions, please give us a call at 847-577-4476. Thanks for watching.